Hi guys, welcome to Living SATV video, David here. Today we are going to see Bramfontein in another look. You guys asked me also to do this side of town. I think it will be cool to show you guys the graffiti. Today is also a set today. Let's go to the other side, brother. There is a set today. You guys can see this side of town. You guys can see this brand Fontaine is actually another CID. You guys can see the cameras there. You guys see that the beautiful streets, garbage being collected. You know what I mean. The cool thing is also today is um, Saturday, so we will be able to see what the playground. You guys can see. Let's walk there. I love to see these things from so cool. <laughs> the purple shall govern. Do you know why they call it purple? Purple is the color of royalty. Look at that. Look at this view. It's like you're walking on a on a on a proper street art, eh? No, magnificent. Congratulations for the people behind Bramfontein. I think you guys are doing an amazing job. Hotel Bannister, you see what I mean? You guys also have a, a cool elephant right here. And today we're going to the playground, guys. That used to be the old neighbor's market that unfortunately closed during COVID. Like other places like Arts on Main, for example. So we hope now that we beaten COVID, we are actually able to bring more uh, initiatives to the inner city oh, the mushrooms Thank you very much. Ata Violin, 065, Land Triple 4, 184, Instagram, ARTH.UR Violin. So you can find me. Yeah. Perfect, don't, follow, don't forget to follow him, guys. It's extremely difficult to, to play violin, right? You take years to master it. Also depends also in the symphony that you're playing, eh? Okay, guys, we are in at the entrance of the playground. I think now we need to show me that, bro. So you guys need to take something like that before you guys go in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just gonna do that now. Okay, guys, we finally have the quote-unquote stamp. <laughs> so let's see this. This is what you guys can see. Just show you all the details. Because know exactly what you guys will be able to find. There you go. Well, it's not very much different from the from what it was at Neighbor Goods Market, eh? So we got some painting classes there. Pretty cool, eh? For something that you can do on a, on a, on a Saturday.
show this. It's not very different from what it was. Let's go. They, they, we can also go up there. You guys can see very, pretty much a lot of youngsters also think uh, eating outside. You guys can see nice food just right here, guys, in Joburg. Pretty cool, eh? Okay, let's go upstairs. You guys literally have food from basically anywhere in the world. You guys can find it right here at the playground. Tortillas, burritos, you know what I mean? Is that, is that Briani? Oh, perfect. Can I give you a test? Yes, you can. So Briani, guys, is a typical South African food you guys can have, actually delicious. Just gonna have a little bit of a taste. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, guys, famous Briani right here at the playground. Mm. Right, nice. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, let's go upstairs, guys. See what was done here since last time I was here, like two years ago. Okay guys, so in this part of the video I need to actually take the music out uh, because of copyright uh, infringement. Let me tell you guys a little bit what you can see around. So this is the rebranded, repurposed neighbor goods market or what is called today playground. So if you have been here before, I personally like it more now. It looks more mature, uh, it like reaches peak of maturity, let's put it this way. And Bramfontein is definitely a beautiful place, you know. They, they really already thought this place properly uh, and this is the final result, you know. It's just a upgraded version, they, they put this beautiful uh, garden here next to the wall or hanging garden. I love all the architecture, the, the, the graffiti. It's just such a nice part of Joburg. And we continue here. I don't know what you guys think. Tell me down below what you guys think. Ah, of course, also a lot of people doing uh, social media. Look, everything is overall very well clean, very well managed. It's one of those parts of Johannesburg that I'm really proud of. Ah, and uh, the curious thing was, while doing this um, walk, um, I could see that many people were uh, being uh, um, left here, you know, like uh, tourists, like French people, Spanish speakers and so on. So it was a, a really uh, nice place to visit. Uh, and here you guys, I have like a pottery table, uh, just people selling merchandise, you know. Oh, this, this was here even before it was a playground. But I really advise you guys to come here really worth your time you guys will find different stuff you guys will have a good time you guys will feel safe so don't forget you guys must definitely visit the cbd if you didn't do it yet do it because you're gonna have such a lovely surprise and again guys what i'm showing you on these videos i can't make these things up so if this makes you feel uh, in some way inspired take my advice Guys have food on that side also. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. It's quite important to see the you guys are hungry. If you want some taste of South African uh, cuisine, you guys can always come to the playground. Just remember, once a week, even oysters, really? What? Very interesting, eh? Hi, right, this is also this also is there you go. Okay guys, now we're leaving the playground. Just saying goodbye to my friend here. Such a pleasure, bro. Have a good one, eh? Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers.
Okay guys, we are going now to see the rest of Bramfontein. You guys can see, again, don't forget the playground open every Saturday. Okay guys, once again, we are leaving now the playground and we found... Who are you, my man? Kennedy, owner of Micro Adventure Tours. Um. Don't forget to follow him, guys, and come for a tour. This guy is like another Fantastic. legend in the, in the city. Awesome. He will take you all to the secret spots in the beautiful city, CBD, guys. Great. Okay, guys, so we just came out of the playground. You guys can see where we are, Mandela. So I'm just going to take you guys on a quick tour so you guys can see Bramfontein, especially you guys overseas. Thanks, bro. Especially you guys overseas need to understand that the CBD is not that bad to walk. Like I always say on my videos, you guys need to know where to go. So let's walk a little bit and uh, yeah. So you guys realize that uh, it's cool, it's nice, it's Saturday. It's amazing the quantity of, of uh, governmental buildings that have been, uh, you know, repurposed and everything. You can see also the cameras there, you know what I mean? So even if someone tries to do something, they will be intercepted quickly. And the streets are also um, basically uh, checked 24-7. You guys also have the JMPD constantly going around. You see, even the, even the alleys don't, uh, don't have garbage, you know? It's impressive. This is probably one of the places in the CBD that uh, we need to show to people. So it's probably a little bit of a university. You guys can also see that businesses are actually not shy also to invest here. Seems like that someone actually took the Robots down, so the Johannesburg Road uh, agency is already fixing them. So there is actually, you know, people pay their levies; they get the proper, the proper treatment. You see, like also the lights have the solar panels, and like I say, people are not shy to invest here. I think Bramfontein has the trust of everyone to do so. You can see people just walking. No worries in the world. Bro, let's go to the other side of the world. You guys can see also, let me just zoom in for you guys to see, okay? You guys can see the vehicles there. Details that, that we don't see. Look at that. That is so cool. Yeah, guys, I'm just walking around with my phone out and all that, you know what I mean? And this is literally, you can walk all the way uh, to the um, to the Park Tonin and everything. When I say Park Tonin, if you guys are not aware, it's a hotel. It's cool, you know, you can see Nothing is neglected in Bramfon, in Bramfontein. Or Bram, if you guys want to call it for short. You guys can see how beautiful the buildings are actually. This part of town. We just can walk for blocks and blocks on end. So just to give you guys an idea. Okay, let's go to the other side. There is a lot of office buildings that side. A lot of corporate offices here, bro. People need to, to change the mindset, you know. Don't be afraid to come here, you know. Do your stuff.
Look at this. You can literally look, look, no, no garbage, no anything. No garbage whatsoever. It's people doing their daily lives normally. Again, you guys can see cameras there again. You know what I want to do? Let's see that building there. Let's go all the way down. That building uh, there. It's actually an accommodation place. Let's see if you can go to the... Actually to the... What do you call that place? The, the, um, the terrace. See if we can so, lunch... See if we can lunch the drone. So guys, this is my friend Sibel. Sibel, bro, tell me what do you think about coming to CBD? What's your opinion? Well, I think that it's actually way better than it was before. It's real clean now and everything is working. You've got the robots working, you've got the gutters working, the water actually goes out. And I think it's actually been fantastic lately. So if you would like to actually take a walk down here, I definitely I would recommend it. It's, it's safe as well. You got saps all over the place. But personally, do you feel afraid? Do you feel anything? Definitely not. I can walk here. Any time of the day, I believe I can walk here because now it's safe. You got saps. There's a sap right there. Yeah, true. Yeah. You guys can see GMP they're going around. Like you say, saps. And uh, yeah, man, thanks very much for your, for your amazing opinions. Always nice to, to know people's testimonies. How's it, man? Okay, let's walk the way down, guys, to that building that I showed you. I will show you guys right now. <laughs> okay, guys, like I told you, the robots were taken down, but the JRA, or the Johannesburg Agency, Road Agency, actually came here to fix the robots. So you see, it's being all taken care of. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Everything is being taken care of. Huh? Okay guys, so we literally came up there where the guys were just fixing the robots and now we are at Jordison Place. Beautiful building. And of course we are literally next to the South Point which was the latest development in student accommodation in CBD. You guys can also see the red bus is also one of the, the places that they coming through. Don't forget to use the red bus if you guys come to CBD. I think it's 250 per ticket, depending where you guys are going. But take 500 Rand with you in case they didn't uh, raise the prices. But you guys can see, you know, like we got uh, malls, we have, you know, proper bus stops, people waiting for the bus to come and all that. There you go guys, we are at South Point. Let's see if we can actually go to the top. Ah guys, by the way, Vitzart Museum. That was the one of the restaurants that used to rotate. Can you guys see that platform? That thing used to rotate and give you a, a view over the city. Uh, besides the Hill Brow Tower, we also had uh, uh, another restaurant up there that used to rotate to show you guys a 360 view from the city. But again, let's go to South Point. Okay guys, so we continue. Fortunately, we couldn't make uh, drone footage inside of the building. I don't know why people are afraid to to speak with me when I'm actually doing footage, I don't know why. There's this idea in South Africa that people that carry a camera probably bring a, a, a negative vibe into it, if you guys know what I mean. So, just want to show you guys a little bit up there. So, old church. We're literally next to UJ. You guys can see the Nelson Mandela Bridge there. Yo, the reflection is... Yo. Yeah, this is where you guys can locate yourself. So we're just basically walking. There you go. So basically the, the playground is actually the same thing as the neighborhood goods market. They just basically uh, gave it a new name. Mm -hmm. 
I love to see these buildings repurposed. I'm not sure what that place there is. Look at the stunning, um, stunning, uh, I think the UJ enters somewhere there. Yeah guys, it's cool actually to walk around here on a, on a Saturday. So you guys can see the Bremfontein management district, which is also a thing that I'm always telling you guys that we should adopt for other provinces in South Africa to revive the lands, the urban landscapes in our cities. There you go, guys. Tell me what you think down below. It's beautiful, eh? There you guys go. It's nice, it's clean. Straightforward people, like I say. People don't have, are not stress what stress whatsoever to basically invest in Bramfontein there's actually people also you know riding their <laughs> skates and stuff like that okay sorry guys my bad I meant to Vitz not you Jay Quite cool guys, love that statue. See more suited accommodation. This it's cool business, you know, because you're just next to the to the to the to the university. And up there you also have Joburg Theatre. You guys can see that. Let me just zoom in. Uh, uh, sorry, there you go, Joburg. <laughs> it's difficult when you do ten times zoom <laughs> to keep it focused. You see like small stuff, putting grass. Also a lot of parking. Guys, you guys have so much parking. That is just babalas what you guys can find. So please don't be afraid to come to CBD. If you guys need any help to where to go, just make a comment down below. I'll we'll see how I can help you guys. We are still at Bramfontein, as you can see, so Vitz is there, so we walk all the way there to here. So it seems like that Liberty owns this. You guys can see the streets. Sure guys, this precinct just goes, goes and goes. You see what happens when you pay levies? Got a beautiful place like this. Okay guys, we're gonna find another place just to fly the drone. I think this building is actually being repurposed for student accommodation, most likely. So we came from there, you remember what I showed you, uh, the place from Liberty. Uh, yeah, so we're going now down the road, see if we have, can have access to one of the, the terraces, see if we can get some um, footage from above. I need a high place, because you guys can see most of these video, these, I mean, buildings have more than 60 meters high, so to see what you can see. Let's see like small businesses, bars, 
Sorry guys, universities, markets. So fixing, nice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Remember, you can get all this type of things if you pay your levies as a business if you guys are inside of a, of a city improvement district pay your levies you got like proper you know primary services like garbage collection things are working properly you know what I mean uh, water pipes if they burst they get fixed you know what I mean it's actually a beautiful building eh? Look at the graffiti, it's so cool. It's really like like really like real, you know. Okay guys, we're going to try to go upstairs to the terrace to see if we can fly the drone. So let's have a look. I think it will be cool. How's it? How are you? Hello. Good, good. JFF roof roof the rooftop farm so according to that gentleman here cool man we have to go through here so let's go up I guess are you ready man okay let's go up let's see if I can go up with just one hand one hand you guys think that we don't exercise in CBD guys yes we do hello okay that was uh, <laughs> a pleasant surprise, I wasn't expecting this. How are you? Good, good. Are you guys, there's literally a rooftop here. Okay, so how much do we pay for this? It's free! Wow! <laughs> That's amazing, eh? Okay. So you got any variety? That's my friend Sabella's. Okay, this is so interesting. So you guys see the type of uh, businesses we have in CBD, you just go apple leather and you find like uh, a nice rooftop where people have plants, I guess. Wow, it's very nice, eh? It is, eh? Wow. So guys, this is the type of uh, creativity that we have in the CBD. So. They actually uh, did a small coffee shop and then if you guys go up the stairs you will, guys will see the actual um, oasis where they have all the plants you can acquire any type of plants. I think this is such a beautiful place, eh? <laughs> there you go. So guys, let's go to the rest of the video. Thanks, eh? Okay, bro. I think we, the only place we can find the drone is at uh, the playground. I think we got a... But I don't like to give up, I like the high building, so we're going to the high, to the highest building. Which is always asking about the building next door. Yeah, I agree. Team of the graffiti carries on going. I love also what they did, their dead ball. I guess that's uh, the Instagram place where people take pictures. Okay, so guys, here we continue. I just want to show you guys the graffiti day a little bit closer. Look at the graffiti, man. <laughs> oh, wait, there is another one here. I love this. Artists that make graffiti in this town, please start making merchandise with your uh, with your designs. 
started selling them on uh, online. You know what you're saying about these alleys? They don't even smell bad or anything. Well. Representation of the CBD in graffiti. Okay guys, let's see the Wing Republic. Look at this place, eh? So cool. How's it guys? How are you? Now we just we just recording. We did a video about Bram Fontaine. Thanks man. So don't forget guys, Wing Republic, right here in Bram Fontaine.